In the last 10 years, van life has ballooned. And along with that balloon, there's tons of technology and gadgets and gizmos that companies are offering for van and van conversions. This video is gonna go through some of the coolest van tech that you can install inside your van. Now, obviously you don't need all of these items, but if they address a particular need or concern you have, they're worth knowing about. One of my favorite parts of the van is the projector screen. It works in three modes. When the bed is down, uh, when the bed is up, and also for outside on nice summer nights. So let me show you that. And you can take the Nebula projector, put it on a tripod, and lay out a blanket or a bean bag, and yeah, watch outdoor movies with friends. And you can actually flip the projector around and watch it while you're inside. Over here you actually have what we are anticipating to be the workstation. So you've got a monitor that pulls out and can swivel in either direction as well as um, an HDMI port that's mounted in the wall right here. So you just plug your HDMI right in there and it streams to the screen as well as USBs and extra AC outlets to charge your laptop. So in the back of the van, this is where we fill up the freshwater tank. Here we've got an overflow pipe and the water gauge right here so you can see how full the 20 gallon freshwater tank is. And we have a hose in this storage cubby here. And an RV water filter. So you hook this up to any public water source. So most truck stops and RV parks will have public water spigots where you can go to fill up. I'm Nate Murphy, author of the Van Conversion Guide, and I just want to let you know that I'm hosting a free online training which will teach you how to make van life zero cost or profitable. In this free seminar, I will show you exactly how to choose a van, build it out in a profitable way, and avoid the mistakes that most people make. I will show you how I made van life completely free and a bunch of other stuff that people don't really talk about. If you want to join, click the link here or in the description and register for free. I'll see you there. Here's our Fenton Mobility Bellagio two-person passenger seating. It folds down really easily. And then right here we have our Ford factory swivels. We've tested out a lot of swivels and we really have found the Ford factory swivels to be not only the most stable, but the easiest to use. It opens up a great space for you. If it's rainy outside, you can come inside, have a drink, play some cards and visit um, very comfortably here in this space. The induction cooktop is actually on the countertop. Um, the induction cooktop will only turn on and get hot if you're using a specific pan. So you can use it as a countertop space, no big deal, um, without, as long as you don't put that specific pan on and turn it on. Above the bed area, we have our Dometic RTX 2000. It's a 12 volt air conditioning system. This thing has been also really, really nice. Um, we love the position of it being directly above the bed because in a, in a very low power setting, you can run this thing easily, you know, six to eight hours and the, our power system won't have any trouble um, making sure it runs all night for you, it makes, keeps you cozy. So we're, uh, we're really excited about that. And we'll wait to, for that to shut off, but uh, that's pretty much it. So one of the things that we've also done is got these really cool um, uh, curtains or blinds. Uh, we got them from a company called Ridgeline. So what it allows you to do is to block out any like mosquitoes or any bugs that you don't want getting into your van. So we've got one on the back door uh, and one on the rear door. And they've actually got these uh, fly nets. So you can kind of open up different parts depending on what you want open and what you don't want open. Um, and for example, you can bring them up to say halfway. So if you want to kind of block out the 
the bedroom, but you want the garage open, you can kind of roll them up like that. So you can kind of block out different things as and when you need to. So they're really cool. And also because it's in the bedroom, it's effectively like a blackout curtain. So you can obviously sleep a little bit better and you don't get any light or any noise coming through. So it's pretty cool. Um, over here, we have got our um, TV. And the TV is on a TV lift. So it does take a few seconds, but um, it's so nice to be able to put the TV away at the end of the day um, and just have a nice cleared space. Also, it's great for when we are on the move, we don't have to worry about the TV falling down anywhere. And we've also got a little sound bar that's hidden behind there as well. We cut some slots out of the wood here so that the sound can come all the way out. Well, I'll start here just because this is one of my favorite parts of the van. I was looking for a heat source, especially since we spend a lot of time skiing up in cold areas. In the beginning, I didn't have the diesel or anything in mind. Uh, we kind of just used a zero degree uh, sleeping bag and uh, we would just kind of like bundle up in that at night. But really, it was just like kind of hanging out in the main area that we wanted to make more comfortable. So found this product from Canada is a cubic mini wood stove and it actually takes real wood and is uh, fed by these little five by five inch pieces of wood um, in here. It was actually uh, built as one of the last pieces um, of the van build, which made it a little bit more difficult. So I kind of built um, the stand that you can see here, uh, but then had to uh, go through and cut a hole through the ceiling and then cut a hole through the roof um, to kind of vent this out. But it's nice that it's in this insulated pipe, um, everything like that. So really all I had to worry about was, uh, you know, having the heat kind of bounce off of that. So that's where I got the idea to use real brick, um, which a lot of people are kind of surprised by, but it's a quarter inch real brick um, that I kind of just like brick and mortared like right here on the wall with just like some thin set uh, to make it a little bit lighter. You can see that we have a lot of lighting. So I always recommend to clients that they have some sort of lighting up front. It doesn't have to be this much, but we do like to have something up here so that you can spot deer and elk before it's too late. Um, it's just a good insurance policy. It's also great for spotting campsites and um, any other wildlife that might be in the way. We've got them all controlled here from a Switch Pro. So using this app, you can actually change the lights and turn them off from your phone. So we've got rear lights, we even have an onboard air compressor and we can control it all from here from up to about 40 feet away, which is really cool if you're out at your campsite and you hear something in the woods, you can push one of these buttons and turn it off. Up in front here, you can see we've got the worn 12K winch and this is with the synthetic rope and it's all mounted to this CA tuned front bumper, which is kind of low profile, still offers a lot of protection and it still works with all of the sensors. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We keep coming out with great content like this every week. And don't forget also to check out our ebook and our course. All the links are in the description. If you didn't notice, I am offering a free online training which will help teach you how to make van life free or profitable. In this video, I will show you exactly how to buy a van, how to fit it out in a proper way, and teach you how to avoid the mistakes that most people make, and all the other stuff that almost nobody else talks about. If you are thinking about converting a van or living van life, it'll be one of the most valuable things you will ever watch. Just click the link, register for free, and I'll see you there. Another great place to start is to get the van conversion guide. It's packed with useful information and includes 20 video lessons to help you convert a van. Check our website, all the information is there.